Welcome back to Critics News and another edition with the latest information. Let's go straight to the reason why we are here. In case you have not joined us on the social media handles, we are on Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook, and even on TikTok. Okay, so going straight. Um, as you can see here, they say that um, police have skewed um, scores. Uh, police kill scores of IPOB ESM members in Imo after Inspector General's um, directive. Wow, I say wow, 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 wow. <laughs> police kill scores. That is, let, let me tell you what it is. Police kill scores of youths. Tag them ESM and IPOB members. That is the proper definition of that very news there. And also here, they say that um, assailant destroy police camps, burn officers' motorcycles in war-torn Ebony community. Mm. This is what is happening in uh, Ibo land as we speak now. So, um, you, you know, some of... And this, um, this is a, a, little, a little video here that um, one of our brother uh, is being harassed for being young and looking fresh and driving good car in Nigeria. Everybody, you are you are supposed to be poor. You are supposed to be wretched. That is what it is in Nigeria. So even if you come back from Obodo Ibo and you make money um, and come back, you are supposed to be poor and suffering. If not, police will intimidate you. If possible, as at times, you might be shot dead for being young and rich. Now let's go straight. And um, before I play you that video, and see let's see what happened in emo state they say police kill scores of ipob esm members in emo after inspector general's directive they cannot kill it in the north too. they cannot kill bandit they cannot kill fulani his men killing people now they say that an unspecified number of the eastern security network and indigenous people of biafra's members including one of their leaders have been killed in a gun battle with the operatives of the emo state police command now i don't know whether here whether they went to the bush to attack esn like they've been doing before or it is a clash between them and some unknown government but at the same time whatever it is i said it that Igbo land is prone to attacks because of the way we have loose guarded the area no way a police can go anywhere and read and we are fighting for freedom it, it, it is not it is not gotten it is taken freedom is taken now the members of the security wing of the indigenous people of biafra ipob though it might be a um, um unknown government but they are attacking them as a um, ipob so let me take it as an um, unknown government. Let's put it that way now. Unknown government group were killed on Friday during a raid carried out on their camps in Imo State by police operatives at Akata Community in Osu, local government area of the state. This is what they are telling us. But they will not tell us that uh, some police people were killed. According to Daily Post, three police officers also sustained bullet injuries during the operation and we are rushed to the hospital for immediate treatment sahara reporters had earlier in the week reported that the inspector general of police usman baba directed the police to be ruthless with the with the ipob and esm members while designating them as terrorists Igbo people are now terrorists why fulani criminals and terrorists are good people Okay. According to the Commissioner of Police, Imo State Command, C.P. Rabiu Hassani, who made the disclosure in Owe on Friday, one of the officers died on the way to the medical facility while the other two are currently undergoing treatment in a government hospital. The Commissioner revealed that the operation was sequel to credible information by the command's intelligence unit, who stated that some bandits suspected to be IPOB groups we are seen mobilizing to attack police formations and government installations in the area. So you are suspecting people and you just tag them to IPOB. You will not find out whether, okay, are they, we couldn't even see pictures of what is happening. So I need somebody from Imo State to 
put a correction to this so we can understand what is um, happening, what actually happened in this uh, particular location. On searching the camp and the surrounding bushes, the following items were recovered. Um, namely, three imp improvised explosives, uh, explosive devices, two pump action guns, nine cartridges, one locally made pistol, and one Toyota Highlander SUV vehicle with registration number IMO DFB 535LC, and we are taken to the station. On their way back, unknown to the police team, the bandit had reinforced and regrouped, laying ambush using palm tree logs to block the entire exit path in the bush. It was at the fourth blockade that the police team came under heavy attack while removing the fourth palm tree log used in blocking the exit path. The bandit threw petrol bombs and improvised explosive devices at the police vehicles. So, I don't know the people doing all this nonsense. I don't know the people doing all this nonsense. The problem we have here is that whoever that is doing this nonsense, whether unknown gunmen or unknown men or whatever, I don't know. But this is, this is, this is a shame. If you listen to this story, I don't really know. But with what we are seeing here, this is an embarrassment to people who are called unknown gunmen. These are baby gunmen, baby gunmen. Because <laughs> if this is where to be uh, in, uh, what do you call it, um, Ambazonia, and you drove, they say they drove to the bush and attacked them in their camps. This is rubbish, total rant nonsense. <laughs> there will be holes. But this one, they use palm tree to block, and then they you started throwing petrol bombs. What kind of poverty nonsense is that? All these full and people doing this nonsense. We want to warn you because you people are bringing bad name to uh, uh, um, the people in Imo State. You people are bringing bad names to them. You people will just go and uh, bring one or two things or bring petrol bomb or carry one chicken or something and you come out and be attacking police. What nonsense. What What is all this? This is this is a you are you are insulting unknown government. You are insulting them with all this nonsense. Again, the tactical team successfully dislodged the terrorists, where several of them were neutralized, and others fled uh, into the bush with bullet wounds. Unfortunately, one of the uh, police healers' vehicle was burnt due to the petrol bombs thrown on it by the unknown gunmen. According to the Commissioner of Police, the tactical teams are presently combing the bush for possible recovery of more arms and improvised explosive devices. They are combing the bush. Police is combing the bush. <laughs> the police commissioner vowed to sustain the operations and arrest all criminal elements involved in violence in the state, particularly as the command is embarking on a mop-up operations to arrest the remains of the unknown government members terrorizing the state, which has resulted in peace and tranquility in the state lately. Our mumuna ain't too much. Our mumuna ain't too much. All these stories are embarrassing. They are a lot of their embarrassment to us. Onye choreta wo yata nkisi akaraka. Onye toreta wo giyu jiden ke katara heta ya asige ota wo gesi yes. Because it's a kissy a karaoke, not you get you get the taste. Away, I want to walk it, walk it. You 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 chop rubbish, rubbish. Moving away from there, let me show you what um this um police people how they are intimidating young Nigerians. Watch this. To make car, see what you have done to make car. See what you have see what you have done to make car. I want to know why you are stopping me in the first place. Who is going with who is going to station with you? What is my offense? What is my offense? You want to search me? Where's your search warrant? 
You are, you are the Musa. Please, we do it. Respect. Why are you going to just stop me like that? What is my offense? What is my offense now? Ah, this is why I'm just harassing people. Do you know who I am? Because I'm too, I'm too fresh for you. I'm young. I'm, I'm meant to be poor. I'm meant to be walking around, drinking around. No, no, that is your own business. I'm, I'm see, bro. Let your sleep down. Because I'm too, I'm too fresh for you. I'm young. I'm, I'm meant to be. You see that? You see, police. You are not supposed to be rich. This thing that we have been saying, this Nigeria is a scam. Some of you will be, oh, I'm a celebrity, I don't care. We are cruising, we are eating chicken lap. It will get to you, you. You feel that, oh, I'm a celebrity. You people that doesn't have common sense and conscience. To know that, as Taliban is now, they say that no music again. <laughs> music has been banned. And that is what is coming. BB Niger, when you say, ah, ban it, ban it, government will not answer you. Do you know why? Because they have a future plan for, for everything. They don't want to start going and beating around the bush. It doesn't matter who say they should ban BB Niger. It doesn't matter. That will not sink in. They have a total package to subdue everything at one go. All of you are doing, ah, I don't care, I don't care, let them forget those miscreant type you be, forget any name they can, he's a miscreant, forget Sunday Boho, they don't know what they are doing, forget who do the agitators, now mumu people, it will get to you, that is chopping, you build a house and a, a, a skyscraper at a, a island in Lagos and you think that you have arrived, when Nigeria will be Islamized. You will not escape it. That your skyscraper, they will bring it to nothing. You know how Sharia law works. Mumu people. Now, moving away from there, they say Arsalant destroy police camps. Born officers motorcycle in one turn Ebony. The police in Ebony State have lamented the attack on eat personnel and burning of property, including motorcycle belonging to security agents in Efum community. Hmm. Or Hauku local government area of the state. It was gathered that the assailants attacked and burnt the belongings of the security agents in the area while also destroying tents in their camps in a bid to send them packing from the area. Wow. <laughs> hey, recall that the people of Efum and Eza have been embedded in protracted communal clashes that have led to the killings of many natives and destruction of property worth billions of naira in the area. I don't know what these youths are dragging for. I don't know the land that is um, the problem in this area. We are talking about how people are coming to invade us and take what belongs to us. People are busy fighting over land. In a statement signed by the police public relations officer in the state, Mr. Love, Mrs. Lovett Horda, which was made available to journalists on Friday, the commissioner of police, Mr. Ali Yugaba, warned against further incursions into police camps in the area and called on stakeholders to caution their youth. The statement read, the attention of the Ebola State Police Command have been drawn to the unfortunate attack on, um, on the security personnel posted to a fume for peacekeeping in the cri uh, crisis stone communities, precisely at Inikiri, Bernard, and Efume Oban on 23rd of um, August 2021. The attackers destroyed their cams, setting ablaze their personal effects and one motorcycle allocated for them for domestic use. The Commissioner of Police, Ebony State, Commissioner CP Ali Yugaba, PSC Plus. <laughs> I don't know where they are getting PSC Plus. Lament that the incident by suspect fume EZA fighters is unwarranted, as the security agencies have always maintained a high level of professionalism by remaining neutral since the inception of the crisis. He notes that if, if the officers had not deployed restraint, the story would have been something else. However, the Commission of Police warns that the command and other security agencies would not tolerate any further incursion nor attack whatsoever from any of the warring tribes, reiterating that the highly disciplined officers are there to restore peace and would continue doing that to the best of their ability. So he therefore calls on the stakeholders from both sides of a fume and a ZAR to caution their youth 
worries to desist from taking laws into their hands as the security agencies are more than capable of defending their lives in the event of any further attack which <laughs> oh god it's not even this one that is my problem if you and Isa, what are you people the youth what are you killing yourselves for for land that you will leave and go i don't know why this land grabbing of 18 i don't know where the devil that is in charge of this a particular issue i don't know where it resides that you will leave what we are doing. We are talking how Fulani is uh, trying to take this. Um, is this not a Bony state? A Bony state. Mm -hmm. A Bony state now. No, na mumu na ain't too much. Ah, oh, good. I don't tire. The, the kind of uh, life that we are living, eh, we do they live your fair life. That's why all these Fulani people are using us for, 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 for bushmeat. Big.